Five years ago, a Billings woman gave up her corporate career for something completely different. In this week's Montana Made, MTN Samantha Harrelson introduces us to Cassie Crafton Kramer, a potter with a unique spin. Usually I spend like one whole day just throwing to get ready for an order. So I'll, I'll sit down with 50 or 60 balls of clay and put some music on and just throw for the whole day. Every mug that we make starts with gray clay. Each mug is a pound and a half. Most of my work is inspired by Montana's landscape and the regional area. The whole process from the beginning to the end, from starting with a ball of clay to pulling a finished piece out of the kiln, can take anywhere from a week at, you know, in the shortest amount of time up to three weeks, just depending. We decided to focus on Montana Pride Pottery because we love the area so much. We also do Yellowstone Park inspired work, so this series is, is inspired by the Grand Prismatic Spring in the Painted Pots. And I think that because Montana is such a unique place, they like to have something that reminds them of their Montana home. In 2012, I was a full-time business development manager for a political PR and marketing company based out of Portland, Oregon. Cassie was traveling the country, working 50 to 60 hours a week, but after the birth of her son, her priorities shifted as she realized what she was missing. Family time and doing something that we truly loved that was going to enhance our family experience was way more important than getting a big paycheck. I bought my wheel from a friend and I found a very small kiln on Craigslist. I turned my home office into a home studio, a small space inside. While the company got off the ground in 2012, the name had been set years earlier. 504 was the square footage of the couple's first home. So it's where we realized like we've got room for two mugs, two bowls, you know, just a few of each item and so we wanted those items to be things that we cherish, like handmade items that we loved instead of, you know, just trying to pack a bunch of stuff into the house. Creating handmade goods is Cassie's passion and her business has taken off since its humble beginnings. But in keeping with her 504 square foot roots, Cassie opted for a different, smaller kind of gallery. I've seen all of the food trucks popping up around Billings and of course, having lived in Portland, like food trucks are everywhere. And I thought, why can't I sell my pottery out of a camper like a food truck? So we found a 65 Bell camper in Bozeman. She traded travel for work for a traveling studio. And she says she wouldn't trade this location for the world. In Billings, Samantha Harrelson, MTN News.